This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers. Polymers or plastics can be divided into two groups depending on how they react to being heated. Thermoplastic polymers can be repeatedly softened by heating and hardened by cooling. Thermosetting polymers are pre-polymers in a soft solid or viscous state that harden permanently after being heated once in a process known as curing. Next, we'll compare the properties of thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers. Thermoplastic polymers soften when heated, whereas thermosetting polymers do not soften when heated. Thermoplastic polymers can be reshaped, reused and recycled. Thermosetting polymers cannot be reshaped, reused or recycled. Thermoplastic polymers are ductile, whereas thermosetting polymers are hard and brittle. And finally, in thermoplastic polymers, no chemical change occurs during heating and cooling. In thermosetting polymers, a chemical reaction occurs during heating that results in the formation of covalent bonds. These are known as crosslinks. Here we can see the structures of a thermoplastic polymer on the left and a thermosetting polymer on the right. In a thermoplastic polymer, there are weak intermolecular forces between the polymer chains. Because of the weak intermolecular forces between the polymer chains, thermoplastic polymers soften when heated and harden when cooled. This means they can be reshaped or remolded. A thermosetting polymer has strong covalent bonds between the polymer chains. These are known as crosslinks, which can be seen in this diagram. The strong covalent bonds between the polymer chains make the polymer more rigid as well as preventing it from melting when being heated. This means that thermosetting polymers cannot be reshaped or remolded.